Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the electric Israeli, all dressed up, I'm going to an important event. Today I want to talk about really major news, made me very happy, I don't know if you saw that, and that uh, Tesla reached uh, over, actually went over 4,000 Model 3 cars uh, produ produced per week. Just to give you a perspective, since the start of the delivering of Model 3 last year, over a little bit over 20,000 Model 3s were delivered. Were delivered more, mainly in the West Coast, uh, in North, uh, in Northeast, uh, to Tesla owners and to uh, Tesla workers. Uh, the highest deliveries per month so far was 3,800. I, you know, I know the numbers. I follow them every every month. So 3,800 delivered per month would give you less than a thousand produced per week. That doesn't mean that's the right number, but that's basically what it averages to. So, so now Tesla has reached a 4,000 uh, Model 3 uh, produced per week. And uh, I saw Elon Musk tweet yesterday. He talked about um, he talked about uh, two robots that were like holding up the entire production. Uh, he admitted that it was too much automation, too many ro robots, and but now they are making some making some grants so to speak and uh it's now uh, produced not delivered produced 4000 um uh, model 3s uh, a week so the big question is can they deliver i don't know 10000 15000 next month so i don't know if it will be in this current month the month of uh, may which we are right smack in the middle of it but let's see if they can deliver that let's say in the month of June because that's the number you want. You want to see 20,000 deliveries a month and that will be a major, major breakthrough, major accomplishment. And, and like I said, I was ranting in my previous video about Tesla to please focus on delivering, b b delivering this before you making any new cars and many new lines deliver because that's your core product that is your core product that's what you need to do so you can recover a lot of uh, cash investments that you had a lot of uh, uh, um, you know a lot of equipment that you bought you need to recover that so you can uh, move on to the next product which is very important the small SUV Tesla Model Y would be really great so uh, that's 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 where you want to be you want to be producing and delivering this core product of yours because that's what it is that's what it's all about now on another note just for you to know and i'm going to make a, a video on it probably today or tomorrow probably today is i'm having second thought about waiting for the um for the um uh, dual motor not because i don't want or i don't need uh tesla in my estimation and i count the numbers tesla is about two months, maybe, maybe less, two months, let's say two, three months, how about that, two, three months from reaching the magic number of 200,000 Teslas delivered in the United States, which will uh, start to phase out of the $7,500 uh, uh, 7, um, federal in, uh, tax exemption. It will go half and then another half and whatever. And so, you know, I'll talk about it a little more. I may just go for uh, the rear wheel drive with a bigger battery, which was not my plan. And I found absolutely many reasons not to do that. But this may be um, a opinion changer. But so, so stay tuned. I will, do, I will do one today. Maybe I'll release it today or tomorrow. We'll see what happens. But it's coming up. We'll talk about that because it is, it is a big, huge deal for people who are counting on the $7,500 um, tax credit. Okay, subscribe to my channel, support my channel, at, and become a patron, and I will see you later in the day, probably wearing the same clothes. All right, guys, change the world one electric car at a time.